All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vion Ad Desar. Sam Bankman Fried has now been sentenced to 25 years in prison by a judge for stealing about $8 billion from the customers of the now bankrupt FTX cryptocurrency exchange that he had founded in 2019. A U.S. district judge handed down the sentence at a Manhattan court hearing after rejecting Bankman Fried's claim that the FTX customers did not actually lose money and are accusing him of lying during his trial testimony. A jury found Bankman Fried guilty of, on the 2nd of November on seven counts of fraud and conspiracy stemming from FTX's 2022 collapse in what prosecutors have called as one of the biggest financial frauds in American history. And to give us more insights on this, we're being joined in by my colleague Susan Terani, who's joining us live from New York. Susan, this, this of course, is the culmination of a trial where Sam Bankman Fraud has now been sentenced to 25 years in prison. What legal options does he have in front of him? Yeah, I mean, they could appeal, but I think the most significant aspect of this case really is the prosecutor's asked for 40 to 50 years. This is really significantly less than that. His lawyers, of course, asked for five to six years. Uh, one of the issues that he has for really taking more legal action uh, is that he lied under oath, as you mentioned. And this was something that the judge, of course, obviously really uh, took into consideration. Uh, nonetheless, you know, his family said that they're heartbroken. Uh, he said that he built something beautifully, although he was sorry. Uh, so, you know, we'll have to see moving forward. Uh, there are some legal challenges facing ahead of him. But I think this was, as the prosecutor said, not only for Bankman Freed, quote unquote, not to commit a fraud like this again, but to send a message to others. Uh, and as you know, you know, this made a very big headlines, just not because of the amount of money, but because Bankman Freed was such a, a huge donor to the Democratic Party as well. Absolutely. Indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Susan Tehrani, for joining us and getting us all those details there. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.